as I was exiting my house, I already had around 30 or 40 guys in my backyard. Uh, they were armed to the teeth, <laughs> RPGs, uh, AK-47s, shouting in Arabic. Uh, luckily, they didn't see me, so I, I managed to sneak back into the house and just waited for them to try and breach my house. Uh, every time someone tried to touch my window, I shot him. That happened a few times. Uh, they threw a few grenades at the house. My, my kids were in the safe room with my wife. Uh, I was in the living room. Uh, as soon as they started opening my doors, I just shot out. Um, of course, all the kids uh, got panicked. There was lots of noise. They started throwing grenades and stuff. And uh, eventually, yeah. But Everybody's safe. You saved them. 200 uh, militants just storming inside the kibbutz, shooting everywhere. Anybody who try to peek his head out of the safe room or try to run. You can see some of the burnt houses. Uh, they, they burnt the houses while the people were inside, so the people come out. And the people who came out are the people who got kidnapped, killed, executed, slaughtered, whatever. It's unimaginable. Kibbutz near Oz is near Gaza. It's only a kilometer away over there. And this was one of the first places to be attacked uh, on October the 7th. There were 400 people living in this kibbutz. 25 were killed and 85 to 100 were snatched by the terrorists and kidnapped back to Gaza. This one's one of the worst. It's, it's clearly a family home. There's kids toys all over the place and inside the most sickening sight. A crib, baby's crib overturned, blood all over the floor. This is the house of Sayed and Adina. Adina is 78, and what happened here, Saeed tried to hold the security door to stop the terrorists getting in, but they shot him dead. They kidnapped Adina. She's a 78-year-old woman. She hasn't been heard from since. And it's been turned into a complete war zone here. I mean, this is an ordinary family home. They've got pictures on the wall. They've got a computer. It's an open plan living room where the family would cook and eat and, and be together. And then you just look down here and it's the most horrific sight of where this family had their last stand. The whole place looks like there's been a fight to the death. And outside this home in this kibbutz, we can still hear enormous explosions in the air as the Israelis are firing shells into Gaza. They had guns, they had rockets, they shot people dead and people who went into their safe rooms in the house were simply burnt alive. After they killed or kidnapped everyone they could find, then came the grave robbers. A second wave of people from Gaza who seemed to know exactly where to find valuables and they ransacked homes for computers, money, anything they could find that was worth something. And after that, they just torched the place. <laughs> 